was just jumping on to share my Valentine's animal pens I created. You can see there's two kinds. I printed them double-sided. So there I have a two from on the back. And later in the video, I'll show you how you can turn these into scratch-offs if you want to do that. Okay, after you're done cutting them, you can see I print of mine on white paper with confetti sprinkles. I'm going to show you how you can turn these into scratch-offs if you want to. My students really enjoy making these, one for themselves and one to give away. The first thing you're going to want to do is tape over the heart where the paint's going to go. This makes it a scratchable surface. And then choose a color that you think goes great with your Valentine's. I picked a couple from my collection that I thought went really well with these. And I'm going to use the light copper. It's kind of a rose gold. You want to make sure you're using acrylic paint. So there's different brands. I got these from Target. You can also get them at any craft store. Okay, then you're going to get a container and some dish soap. Okay, so you're going to be using a two to one ratio. You want to use two part paint and one part soap. And you're just gonna eyeball it. You don't have to be perfect with it. And I use these little takeout cups for a lot of things. I can close a lid on them because this is a project we do for a small group time and it's over the week of Valentine's Day and again um, reduce reuse recycle put on a lid on it save it for the next day also use it for glue okay so you can see about a two to one ratio the soap is important um, any kind of dish soap will work it's what creates the chemistry so the paint will come off later once you are done painting it and it dries. Students can uh, use their nails or take a coin to reveal their animal pun. So you will see bubbles from the soap. Okay, so then my next step is I'm gonna dab it on the heart shape. And you can see you're going to need another layer to cover it completely. Okay, so you will Start to dab to fill it in. And it'll take a couple hours to dry, so you want to put it up somewhere students can't reach their project. Um, step I missed was putting my name on the back first, so we don't have to worry about who's is who, why the paint is drying. All right, we'll come back later and see how it works. So now it's dry. I left it overnight and I can scratch off the message. have a cute scratch off Valentine you can give out and easily make thanks for watching you can find these in my teachers pay teacher store at teacher miss H